Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video, we will show you how you can make your own DIY rubber stamp. For its production, we will use the CNC3018 machine with a 10 watt endurance laser installed on it. The base of the seal will be made out of rubber, 2.5 mm thick. For the process, we'll use 75% laser power at a speed 500 mm per minute and one pass. The area of our print is 10 on 50 mm. So now we are observing the process. So this is the basis we have. Now we are using water, soap and a toothbrush to clean it from this black coating. So now it's clean. And we take scissors and cut it out. Here our foundation is completely ready. Now let's start creating a snap for it. We'll print it out on the 3D printer. It will be 50 on 10 mm in size and 10 mm height. Oh, sorry, 30 mm height. We made a drawing uh, of this tool based on it creating a 3D model and print it out. So, almost ready. Okay, now it is ready to go. Now we glue our rubber base to the snap. To do this, uh, take a universal glue that allows you to glue rubber, plastic, wood, leather and other materials. So that our, uh, so that our seal sticks together as best as possible, we fix it in a clamp and leave it to dry. Now we begin to make a case for our stem. We made this drawing. This case will consist of 10 parts. We made drawing for every detail and based on them we write G-code and proceed the production. The material for the case will be 3mm birch plywood, quite thick and firm and we'll cut it at high speed 600 millimeters per minute and 100 percent power and will be about eight passes of course you can make it faster oh sorry you can make it slower slower speed and less passes but uh, want to get it very very clean and dry that's why we cut it on higher speed with more passes we have a detailed video showing how you can cut wood and plywood using endurance lasers Okay, let's uh, remove it and we'll do it once again for another part. Yeah, sometimes we need to use knife just to make sure that everything looks good. Okay, we continue. Okay, not difficult at all.
Mm -hmm. Always wear goggles while you operate the laser, it's very important. Yeah, we also need to, to make sure that everything is cut perfectly. Yeah, you see quite clean edges. A small piece. Okay, we remove it once again. So all pieces are ready and now we need to assemble it. So looks good. What do you think? Fully DIY and laser cut. Okay, so what are we going to do next? We need to make a head pad, which uh, we refill with ink. We will make it from cotton fabric, the type bike, one millimeter thick. We will cut it at speeds 600 millimeters per minute with a laser power of 75% and it only requires one pass. The last thing that remains for us to make is a substrate, which will be under the stamp pad so that the ink from it will not be absorbed into the plywood of the case. For the manufacture we'll use pet plastics 0.3 mm thick. We have a video showing how you need to do it and um, we'll cut it at a speed 100 millimeters per minute the laser power is 95 percent it on and it requires only two passes before cutting it's necessary to stick masking tape on both sides of pad plastics like i said a detailed video how you can cut pad plastics and pad plastics is on our channel you can do it with masking tape or with a color spray here is a substrate is cut out, gently bend the edges. So the substrate is ready, we put the stamp pad uh, in it and put it in a case. Our print case is ready, now we use a syringe, we fill the pillow with ink. Okay, let's try it out. So this work is completed. So hope that you like this video. Please share it with your friends. Subscribe on our channel. See you again on in Endurance Laser Lab. And if you have any questions, let me know. GF at endurancerobots.com or text me plus seven nine one six two two five four three two and visit our website endurancelasers.com and our online store endurance-lasers.com. Have a wonderful experience with endurance. Bye-bye.